Good day guys, Bing here. Um, previously we did this exercise, so it's day 763, and um, we uh, used two different methods to create these uh, floor and ramps. So um, Robert uh, creates one using his method. I think it's quite interesting, so I'm going to show you. So he used uh, model in place sweep and also he creates all these reference lines along this um, so you will see all along this edge so that's all the reference line and then we and after create these reference lines create a, a model in place and a sweep and use pick pick uh, pick path okay so I'm going to show you his method so and also I'm going to use a Revit 2021. So in case um, anyone need to have a look in that mo in the model, so um, it will be better to have an older version. <laughs> so okay, so let's start um, first. So create a project, and also um, Robert used. Um, grids for to place those reference lines. Um, I'm going to instead of using grids, I'm going to use nothing. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how. So first, uh, I'll create a floor. So this floor is the one uh, on the top. So I'll just roughly draw draw it uh, four meter. That's fine. Just four meter by four meter. Okay, so it's a floor, and I'm going to just make it maybe two meter high. Okay, so go to 3D view. So this is a floor, four meter by four meter, at two meter high. So the next step is, so we need to go create a new model in place. I'm going to use floor category. Okay, and so we need to start to place all the reference lines, but we need to place them on so if you look at this, so um, so for example, this this these reference lines, they are on one word plan, which is a vertical word plan, okay. And in this one, we need to find a vertical word plan. Can you find a vertical face? Yes, that's the edge of the floor. So we can use edge of floor for word plan. Okay, so set word plan, pick plan, and pick this word plan. So use tab to pick this. So now, if I if I click on this one, you can see this is a current word plan, and then we can place reference line on this word plan. So let me just draw a reference line here. So start. So um, I'm going to just make, uh, draw a 500. So the reason why we have a horizontal word plan. So actually, um, I'm, um, I did have, have have a try have a test of all the different um, uh, different um, combination of reference lines, um, and I found that to make this work, to make this one work, the the this edge, the reference line on the corner, so here or here, must be horizontal. We can't have a like a, a diagonal or curved on the edge and then with another one on the other side that won't work so this is why so we have to have you a uh, horizontal reference lines at the corner so i'm just going to have this one this is 500 and i'll copy that one to here and then also i move i want to move it down so for number 500 as well and then we can just create a Another reference line from this edge, so this 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 point, and a point to this point. And if you want the the ramp just to be uh, flat or the floor to be flat, so you can. That's it. So enough. But if you want to the transition to be um, smooth, to be curved, so you need to create another reference line. So we're going to use Philip arc. And the easiest way to do this is just check this radius and type in a radius. 
So for example, three meter. And if I pick this line, pick this line, we will create this arc for us, which is a three meter radius. Okay, so that's once again, this one, this one. And okay, so this is it. So these are all the reference line we need in this work plan. And then we need to change the work plan. So set, set a plan, oh, sorry, pick a plan, pick this face and continue. So create reference line, start from this point, horizontal 500. And I'm going to copy this one to this end. So sometimes it's a little bit hard to find a line that edge. So you can use shift. So you see if you press shift, you can quite easily just align with this edge. And the same M V move it down by 500. Once again, create reference line from this point to this point, fill the arc radius, and that's it. Okay, so and and you can continue uh, doing this. But you can also use mirror. So I'm going to show you how to use mirror. So because currently current work plan is this face, so we can use we can mirror this to this side. So select all these reference lines, DM, and pick the midpoint of this edge and click, and that's it. So we just need to go down to this side, MV move it down to, and align along with this level okay and that's it and then to mirror this one we need to change the work plan first so go create set work plan pick up plan okay pick this one so you can you you can also use um horizontal okay so let me show you so you can also use this okay so and then Let's tab select all these reference line DM and so in, so this time instead of I think that's that's the one instead of go up you need to go this way okay so make sure it's 90 degree you see here and then you'll go here and then you just need to go uh, to the uh, elevation view and move it up to align with the this level and then you'll see it's all connected okay so that's it um, now we can create a sweep so sweep pick path and start so it's easier to pick a horizontal first because um, which uh, because the profile so it will be vertical it won't be a uh, on the uh, curved curved uh, reference line or a diagonal one so it's a little bit easier for us to create a profile so just pick all these reference uh, lines so you can try you can try wireframe and it's probably easier so you need to you don't need to rotate around trying to find the lines and change it to shade SD and finish this part and edit profile so we're going to just create a profile so start from this point and let's just change the maybe one maybe 1.2 meter wide and 100 thick and finish and finish so now you will see this is it okay so and also let me just uh, un uh, hide the reference plan so you can so for example this floor and this floor because they are both floor you can join them oh so sorry you need to finish finish model first finish model in place first and join them okay so so if you create the horizontal line a little bit longer so you will have more um, uh, more edge uh, joined together together okay so and this is the one this is one and the next one is um you can continue to do it that way but i'm going to show you an actually an easier way okay so first i want to duplicate this so you can use copy and paste or actually i'm going to use mirror 
So first, I uh, want to set work plan. Just check the work plan. So current work plan is on the ground floor. That's fine. A horizontal work plan. That's fine. So we can just use the current work plan. Select this model. Model in place. Um, so DM, and I'm going to. So just go to the top. So it's e it'll be easier to pick the edge, pick the point. So pick this point and pick this point. So now you will see we have another one. So one uh, previous is this one and this one. So we can then go to the side view and move it down by, I don't know how much we need, 1.1. That's interesting. So anyway, um, oh, is it right? I don't think. Uh, yeah, it's right. So yeah, don't worry. So the next step is so edit and edit the sweep. We don't need to change. We don't need to change the part. Only thing we need need to do is edit profile. And I'm going to just move this profile by 1200. Finish, finish, and finish and join. And okay, that's another one. So. Um, and okay, let me show you another. One. Uh, let's just create create another one. So select this one. DM. So you can pick. Let's go to the top. So it's easier to pick the point. Just uh, okay. So this is a new one. And move it down. Okay. Okay. Edit in place. Edit sweep and edit profile and move it 1200. Okay, okay, that's another one. Okay, so it looks like the level is not right. So let's just move it up by 100. Oh, that doesn't work. So maybe we need a finish model and let's move it up by 100. Okay, so now we can join them and that's it. Okay, so, um, and of course, there's a limitation uh, of uh, this method. So, I mean, this method, I mean, uh, using the same path. So, you will see the path, this start at the same place here. So, because all the prof uh, all the path uh, are the same, if you want to move this path to here, you will need to do it differently so you because you won't be able to just move this this part to here you need to place this reference line on different work plan so for example for onto this work plan and then you will be able to adjust the, where these uh, ramp start or end okay so that's it um if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. I will upload this family for you. And thank you very much. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.